So do you know anything about the Supremes or no you don't? You know, stop, in, you know, stop in the name of love. Only the older people know that. Oh, you know that one? <laughs> Our image was definitely enhanced by what we wore. And, and it wasn't put on, it was just, that's who we were, you know. Each of the gowns weighed 35 pounds. Because the um, pink beaded that we did, the um, command performance with Queen Mother, uh, that's, oh, that has so many memories. He showed us this design, he says, I have this most exquisite design, and I want you, you know, your girls to have it. And we saw it, we like, yes! Then when we put them on, we're like, whoa, these things are heavy. So, you know, we were three little black girls from the Brewster Projects in Detroit, Michigan, uh, growing up poor. And then all of a sudden, we find ourselves performing for the Queen Mother and the whole royal family. So it was really a wonderful, that was a wonderful memory. Each one has its own memory. This particular one we wore for the farewell performance of Diane when she left the group. These we call butterfly, because as you can see, the design is this way. One girl told me, she says, well, you know, I remember when you guys were on the Ed Sullivan Show, we would do like that, you know, but we would have our hair brushes. And one girl said, well, I had my vacuum cleaner hose in my hand. I was vacuuming the floor and I started saying, so I just think that what I want people to get out of coming to the EMP is to, you know, enjoy their own lives, to relive sort of their lives and remember where they were as young people, to remember who they were dating, you know, when they got married, when they graduated from school, as well as the Supremes. And where we've been as human beings, because it does represent television and the times that we were going, you know, we had the disco era, we had the, you know, the whole thing. So all of that, I think, will be brought back when they come to the EMP and see the gown collection. Thank you.